Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I am an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to configure a component using the Modify Configuration dialog box. Well, why are configurations important first of all? Well, configurations are important when the user is working with parts and assemblies and has multiple variations of them. So let's see how this works. Here I have an assembly uh, with four different configurations and in my top configurations I have added these wheels. Now the idea is to add wheels to all the other configurations of the assembly without having to repeat all the steps that we took, uh, which is mating, uh, adding a couple of different mates, uh, bringing in a couple of different parts and adding it to this assembly. So you want to save all those different steps and uh, have the modify configuration dialog box take care of it. So the first step is to select the components that you need uh, to configure. You can select multiple uh, components. In this case, I'm going to select the two wheels. Once you have the two wheels selected, right click on it and select the option for configure component. Once you click this, this opens up the modify configuration dialog box or the window. Um, on the left hand side, you would see a list of all your existing configurations and uh, the options to create more. To the right of the list of configurations, you'll see the components that you have selected to configure. Uh, if, you, if there are multiple components selected, you should see multiple uh, rows, uh, multiple columns in this, uh, in this area. So reading this table, I can tell that my wheel components uh, are suppressed for all the other configurations that I have here. All I have to do at this point is remove the check, box, uh, check marks from the suppressed boxes, click, click apply, and click OK. Once you click OK, the configuration uh, dialog box goes away. And uh, let's go back to the configuration manager and toggle through different configurations that we have and see what actually happened. Going through the different configurations, I can tell that the wheel component is now added to all my configurations, which is pretty cool. I don't have to repeat these steps again and again. Um, I can configure components or I can also configure features in this case um, for any number of parts and assemblies as well. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you for watching.